Real quick before this video starts, if you guys want to support me, the best way to do so is by using code KDOG in the item shop. Another thing is if you're new to the channel, subscribe right now in the comment down below, hashtag new sub, and I will heart and reply to as many of your guys' comments as possible. With all that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Yo, what's good, everybody? In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys the best Chapter 2 Season 5 drop spots for Arena so that you can reach Champion League super fast. But real quick, before we get into this video, if you want to support me, please subscribe to the channel if you're new because we're trying to hit 10,000 subs by the end of the year. If any of these drop spots help you out, also, please use code KDOG in the item shop when you're buying any cosmetic items this season or even the Battle Pass. It really does help me out a lot. But without further ado, let's get straight into this video. All right, so this first spot is for all my controller players and all my console players and just like anyone that uses a controller. This is actually the one of the most op spots because you can actually get a p90 every single time so all you have to do is go to the new viking hut or the new viking boat which is next to holly hedges it's basically just like the viking shit from a long time ago and basically all you have to do is win your off spawn fight if you're contested which is pretty easy to do then you go to the npcs which are added this season and the first thing that you want to do is go up to him and talk to him and try to get a bounty so that you know if there's any players near you and then you can also basically you have like a uav on them from like cod and stuff where you can actually see exactly where they are on the map so you know if you're getting pushed at any time so just so that you're safe and then after that you challenge him to a duel for his p90 and all you do is just stay a little bit far away from him shoot him with your ar he doesn't really hit any shots it takes around like 40 bullets to kill him i'm pretty sure so you will waste a lot of ar ammo but you do get a p90 in return every single time for this next drop spot i actually made a whole video about this so basically this is the drop spot you can get a gold ak and a purple rpg every single time it's at the factory next to the dam which is next to misty meadows and then basically all you have to do is go to this place right here loot up a little bit get an ar and then you have to go to the back of the factory where you'll actually find the npc that gives you the rpg and the gold ak or he might spawn in different spots but for this game he spawned in the back for me so basically you just want to go back here you'll see him right there and all you have to do is kill him you don't have to interact with him or anything you just have to kill him and then he'll drop the um, rpg and the ak it's super overpowered because i'm pretty sure this is the only way you can actually get an rpg on the map so you'll be the only person in the whole game that has an rpg so especially for like trios and it's going to be really overpowered because whoever gets the rpg can just hold hype for basically the whole game if you find rockets so as you can see here you have an rpg and the ak next up i thought i'd just show my own drop spot so this is basically the three houses next to steamy this is where i land every season to actually get to champion league i'll show a quick little speed around of me looting the place but it has like three chests or this house has two chest spawns the other house has three and the other house has two i'm pretty sure so there's a total of seven chest spawns from these three houses and you also get max brick max wood and you can get like 200 metal too from just farming the cars on your way out another one of the really good ways to actually find a drop spot is by going on a website called fortnite.gg it shows every single chest spawn every single fishing spawn all that sort of stuff and another thing that's really overpowered this season it's probably going to be the meta is fishing spawn so if you can find a good fishing spawn it's probably one of the best places that you can actually land at i didn't want to show like one single fishing spawn because there's just so many of them around the map there's so many different like loot paths you can actually do to actually get different fishing spawns so i didn't really want to show just one of them because there's so many of them they can find on fortnite.gg another thing that i like about this place now is they added an npc in the actual house right here so sometimes there's one that spawns this one there wasn't because this was battle lab and i was basically just showing the loot path but i've shown a lot of low key spots and i'm going to be showing the best w key spots for like your first couple arena games are just like best places to get kills at so you can get more kill points and that sort of stuff so the main place that i would recommend is salty towers it's one of the most populated places and because it's the newest poi and everybody loves tilted towers it's a really good spot it has pretty good loot too if you're actually able to win salty and i would recommend just landing on a tack on the top of one of the tilted buildings if you go to one of these salty houses they're not as good as the tilted buildings and you also probably won't really get to fight anybody so people already have like max shield and everything from getting siphon and elims off of other players also if you didn't know um, i'm gonna show it a little bit bit in this little looting montage but to actually go through the windows you can place pyramids and you can get through them every single time so that's just something if you didn't play back when tilted was out you can just place pyramids and you'll be able to get through pretty much all of the windows through this place and how you actually win salty or tilted whatever you want to call it it's really like it's really like knowing the buildings because you don't really have to build too much to actually win this place so you just got to have good like map knowledge and good like p90 
piece control and that sort of stuff that's why people like nick mercs are super good at tilted because like they weren't the best builders but they had really good map knowledge and they just knew how to actually play salty towers so i'd recommend learning one of the new places definitely if you want to um learn how to actually fight there because you're gonna have to adapt to the new meta anyways other than that that is all for today's video if you guys did enjoy the video please subscribe to the channel if you're new because we're trying to hit 10,000 subs by the end of the year also please use code kdog in the item shopper if this video did help you out at all it really does help me out a lot but i'm left the uh montage of this last couple buildings go out and then i'll show my end screen and i'll catch you guys in the next video turn on noties peace out